Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been cloudy in what seems like forever so I thought I would just spend a little bit of time and do a review on my imaging camera. So I currently use the Altair 269C ProTech colour camera. So I've had it for about a year or so so what I will do I will run through my general opinion on the camera run for a few specs of the camera and also I'll show you some images of what I've taken using this camera. So let's crack on with the review. My name is Ricky, we're watching Astro Ricker. When I first got into um, astrophotography, I was using a Canon 450D um, and I enjoyed using this camera and I was getting some good results. Um, but as I kind of progressed further in the hobby, I wanted to improve further on the images that I was taking. Um, and I did notice that the images of the DSLR, um, especially at longer exposures, I was getting quite a bit of noise and um, that I was struggling to kind of process out of the images. Um, so I decided it would be good to get a dedicated astronomy camera, um, especially that I can keep it cold and reduce the noise within the images. Um, so I decided to go for the Altair 269C. It is the only dedicated astro camera that I've had, so I can't really compare it, um, but I have been really happy with it. So I will show you the camera itself now, um, and then I will show you some images that I've taken with the camera. So when the camera arrived, it actually arrived in this hard carry case, which does a good job at protecting the camera. I did actually buy this camera as an X-Demo, um, but it arrived and it was absolutely fine. There was no damage and I've been really happy with it. It did arrive with a power cable and also a USB free cable as well. So here is the camera itself. I do like the design and the color scheme. Um, it may not be to everyone's taste, um, but I do like it in this purple. On top of the camera here we have the power connection port and we've also got the USB free port. So this is how you would connect it to the imaging laptop or PC. Um, and then next to that here we have two USB 2 ports as well. Um, so that's really handy if you want to connect other devices um, for example, maybe a guide camera or something like that. So the camera itself is a 12-bit coloured um, tech called camera. So you can set the temperature. Um, so I normally set this at about minus 10, um, which has always been sufficient. But I believe, according to the website, it does go down to about 45 below ambient. Um, but minus 10 has always suited my needs well. So the actual sensor... So the sensor is a Sony IMX269 um, CMOS sensor um, and it's a micro four thirds um, sensor. So the field of view is quite good. I do like the field of view that I get with this camera on my ATEDR telescope. Um, it suits a lot of the targets well that I'm imaging. So the, the pixel size I think is 3.3 um, micron pixels. So I'll show you some photos now that I've taken with this camera and I will also um, on the photos put a bit of information about the settings that I used while taking the images. Okay, so to sum up, I am happy with the 269C and the results that I am getting. The camera has actually been around for a while, but it is still available at Altair Astro um, for around about £900, I believe. 
So I am happy that I went to a dedicated astronomy camera, um, but that may not be for everybody. If you've got a DSLR and they're happy with the results that you're getting, then by all means there is no problem in sticking with that camera. The best camera you have is the one that you actually use. So I hope this video has helped and thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.